The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold up. But he up. trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Yeah, we'll see what his offense can do. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. They'll give to Martin here out of the gun. Yeah, he's going to be stopped short of a first down as he'll get to him at about the 33. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up a fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll run for it, Martin. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. First down, here's the run with Martin. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. From the gun, a give to Martin. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. And off comes to Martin. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. And a 10th carry here for Martin. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. 56 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They give to Martin. He spins free, and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Now Martin. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. How many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 
nothing our score as the second half gets underway. But gutsy call there. Yang's at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the game was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. Now Ryan on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Now it's Ryan. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Again, it's Martin. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Two yards, good enough for a first. Another tote for the workhorse, Martin. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now a run with Martin. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. They run. Martin. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Martin. Great move, but still wrangled before reaching the 20. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. 132 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And he'll take this one down near the 15. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Martin. 
that second down run a big help as seven yards leaves him with just a third and three now. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively they burn it here with 151 left. They'll run it. Here's Martin. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Running for it. Here's Martin. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run for it with Martin. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll try to run this one in. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Nicely done. Another one up, another one down. Grinding and keep racking up those wins.